Well, you've been asking to see Zoe. Here she is. Hi there, little girl. I'm back in Pennsylvania, and as a lot of you know, Zoe has been staying with my daughter, Kelsey. Um, she provides some nice company for Kelsey as she works uh, during the day out of the house, and it's always good to see her. I'm able to come see her whenever I want to, but I want to talk to you about Zoe's reaction when I drove up in your morning cup of inspiration. I apologize, I don't have my mug with me. When Pam and I were driving into the parking lot, Zoe was out with my son-in-law, Levi, and she saw the car and started running toward it. And once I got out and she heard my voice, she went crazy. I mean, it took a long time to get her to calm down. So she always remembers my voice she knows me, I think she even knows my scent, and we've had a great time being together. But it made me think about us hearing God's voice. Do we know when he's speaking to us? Are we close enough to the Lord that we can feel his nudgings and his promptings? The Bible talks about it and how important it is in the book of John. Chapter 10, Verses 27 and 28, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. That's the relationship that the Lord wants us to have with him. That we're that close to him, that no man can ever pull us away from him, no one can take us away from him. And that's how I feel with Zoe. Whenever we're back together, she knows my voice. She's been following me around the whole time here. And it's so good to see her. I know a lot of you have pets, cats and dogs and other animals, and, and we love them. But they do know our voice. And we need to hear the Lord's voice. I've learned to feel his promptings and his nudgings. And I know that I need to listen. Let's pray. Lord, I pray for everyone watching this video that they would draw close to you and want to hear your voice and follow you every day of their lives. I ask this all in thy name. Amen. Well, Zoe says hi, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll talk soon for another morning cup of inspiration.